How about that? How about that? Hey guys, what's up? Son of Chelsea here for 100% Chelsea. This is going to be my match review Chelsea 2, Dynamo Kiev 1. Um, finally, we have a win. Now, I'm going to get this out of the way straight away. I am not even thinking about Saturday. I'm not going to say this is a turning point. I think I've said this on Twitter. I think I've said this to a few people. Wins are a rarity these days. They are collector's items. We've got to enjoy this right now. And I definitely am um, crazy, man. Uh, I think first thing I have to applaud is the fighting spirit within that team tonight. The character. No, this is not a Brendan Rodgers pun. This is, it, That is proper character. From what we've seen this season, from what I've seen this season of when we... Usually what happens is when we get pegged back, we go on to lose the game. The players' heads drop. Something along those lines happens and, you know, and then we lose the game. Tonight, when we, uh, it was 1-1, they got back into the game. You could see, you could just see writing on the wall. Uh, Yarmolenko was probably going to go and score the winner. They were probably going to go and nick a 2-1 and it'd be doom and gloom again. But that wasn't the case. Um, William, I mean, the guy is absolutely sensational. He is our player of the season. I think you, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen from now on, but like, he is absolutely amazing. He is the reason we won tonight. He is the guy, when you watch Chelsea, he is the one, in my opinion, that starts everything. He's the one that starts the attacks. He's the one that breaks up play. He's the one that helps out defensively. He is man in a match by a country mile. And, you know, finally, I think I... When did I say this? I think I said it on my channel, actually. You know, that it, it's so disappointing for him. He's putting in 110%. We're seeing on the pitch uh, a lot of the time this season. He's the only one on there putting his all into it and not being on the win side. Tonight, he with that absolutely world-class free kick. And I actually think because of the reason we've been so bad, he's finally getting the credit he deserves. And he is a brilliant player. He's added goals to his game, which I think has really helped out. And he is absolutely brilliant. So going over to team selection, um, you know, I was happy with the back line. You know, when I saw it, no Zuma at right back. He was actually at centre-back. JT, who obviously wants to prove Robbie Savage wrong. Uh, and as P on the right, I was definitely very happy with that. Central midfield, uh, Ramirez and Matic. To see um, Oscar Fabregas in the same team for me didn't make a lot of sense. And then as the game started, in, my assumption was Ramirez was going to play on one of the wings. But no, that wasn't the case. Ramirez and Matic sat uh, deep and Fabregas and also kind of played on the left. Now, one thing I'm going to say right now, the player who I think deserves most criticism for Chelsea today, in my opinion, from what I saw, was Fabregas. The reason I'll say Fabregas is because he was the one player on that pitch tonight that I thought had a poor game and I don't think really put his all into it. I think one thing that you could credit a lot of Chelsea players with was that fighting spirit, that 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 determination to win, putting your body on the line, getting in, intercepting the ball. I didn't see that from Fabregas and that's why I don't think he deserves his place. Um, other players tonight I feel really stepped up. Baba Rahman, I've been saying this a lot. It isn't just me. Loads of people have been saying Baba Rahman. He comes in and I thought he had another excellent game. I thought he had his game at Aston Villa where he was a bit shaky. But of course, he's he, he has to develop. Then he came in at Stoke and I thought he had a really good game even though he lost. Um, tonight, I thought he's even better. He absolutely shut down Yarmolenko. He um, intercepted the ball. 
broke up play, brought it forward. Um, Aspi on the right was was Dave. Dave was Dave, basically. Just him. Uh, JT, I thought, was very good. Was Kurt Zuma, when he... Um, I don't know who it was, but they got through in the second half. And Kurt Zuma was behind the ball, came back, made a brilliant slide, sliding challenge to stop uh, the goal. Just brilliant. And, and Kurt Zuma, I feel sorry for the bloke because he's been put out right back where he doesn't belong. He gets put in uh, centre back, his favourite position, and he has a decent game, you know. So I think that's that's one thing that's very positive about Kurt. And I think um, as a support from the fans, you know, it shows our kind of love for him. He's a brilliant player and I think he's going to continue to develop at centre back Jose. Not a right back. He ain't a full back. Barbara Rahman, Azpilicueta, that's our full backs going forward. Um... Matic, I thought, was, was a beast in midfield. Um, I don't think I'm over-exaggerating there. I think he broke up a lot of play. Even when he made mistakes, he still made up for it. Definitely something we saw a lot more of. Um, as I say, I'm, who, who have I missed? I think Ramirez was Ramirez. Um, you know, I just... I think, you know, Diego, about the penalty situation, of course, when I'm in the Matthew Arden lower, we see him go down one-on-one uh, -on -one with the keeper, and we think, of course, it's red. I, I tweeted out, I said to you guys, tell me uh, honestly... Many people said um, it wasn't penalty, so I, I, I'm happy that I saw that before coming on here and raging about it. Um, and I've just seen the highlights. It's clearly not a penalty. Diego last season would have buried that. Um, and I think it, it's something that Diego definitely needs to work on. He spent more time on the floor than he did uh, trying to impact the play, and that's not the Diego we know. I saw an improvement from him uh, against Aston Villa and some other games, but he's tonight he didn't really do much. But hey, we won the game. And that's the most important thing. And also the fans. Now, I'm sitting in the Matthew Arden Lower, which is traditionally the loudest stand. So I'm, from the assumption I'm getting, we, we sang our hearts out from the first to 90 minutes. Now, West Stand, East Stand, I don't know. I think the Shed, of course, always seem to make noise. Um, so I don't know. And I'm not going to say it's the most amazing atmosphere we've ever seen in our lives because I know I've done this before and then people come up to me and say, oh, it's crap. So from where I was sitting, there was lots of support. Once again, Jose Mourinho, lots of support. Um, and I think tonight, I, I think for a character kind of building team, um, performance, I thought I felt it was tonight. I think the fact is, got pegged back. We sat deeper in the second half, definitely. And I think that was the problem. Uh, we didn't go for the throats of Kiev, which I think we... It's the same on Saturday. Uh, we just we, we were at Liverpool for the first 20 minutes, really affecting them. And then we sit back and then Liverpool get in the game. Same thing happened in the second half, really at them. Um, but I, I love the fact that instantly as we went behind, the fans were right back in it saying, come on, Chelsea. And Jose's comments, I think, just says it all. We as a, we as a club are united. I called this club a cult. That's what it is. We've we've got to, we've got to get together at this point and really like tonight. Put like help our players through it. Be the twelfth man. I know it sounds really dramatic, but that's what it has to be at the moment because we're not playing well. As a fan base, stick together. Don't listen to the crap that you hear outside. Just just stick together as a fan base because I think that's what we need to do. So thank you guys for watching this video. As you see a little bit of a match day experience. Um, I'm very happy, but I'm not going to get carried away. I don't even want to think about Saturday at the moment. I'm just enjoying this victory right now. Thank you guys for watching. You can follow me personally on Twitter, at Son of Chelsea. All the social media links are down in the comments below. You can also check out my channel where I do FIFA videos and Chelsea videos. So thank you guys. Subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Up the Chels. Get in. And I'll see you again. We should be there. We should be there. And William was having to try and do stuff on his own all over again. Yeah. It was happening again. I, I don't know what to say anymore.